Hey everybody, Robot here from Vest Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. You know where we are, San Diego, California. I want to share some of the new Capini accessories that are available for the 2023 and later Vespa GTS 300. Uh, we like to refer to this model as the GTS 300 HPE2 because it's kind of a substantial upgrade. Um, I'm going to show you how to install both this fly screen, the GTS 30 CP HPE2 along with the full-size GTS 16 CP HBE2. So first off, I want to show you the difference. So you can see the fly screen for Capini, it's more of the classic shape. It's kind of got this uh, tinted section on there. So a different look than you'd find with the factory windscreens or the Faco uh, windscreens that we have available. And just for comparison, sakes, I'll show you the size of the full-size windscreen versus a fly screen. So fly screen, I'm clearly looking over it. I would say I'm about 5'8", uh, somewhere in there for my uh, height. And if you go with something as large as the full-size windscreen, I'm clearly looking through the clear plexiglass. It's going to give me 100% protection. Um, you know, if you're in bad weather or you just don't want the wind in your eyes, I could probably smoke a cigar behind this uh, shield and it also protects your hands because it's got wings that kind of come out. So they both install pretty much the same. You only need two basic tools, a 17 millimeter combination wrench, which you should have on your scooter at all times because it's great for tightening the mirrors and a number three Phillips screwdriver. I mean, you can improvise with a basic number two screwdriver as well. So let's get right to it. First of all, you're going to locate the hardware packet that comes with the windshield. You see the two go post rods are included and all the other hardware is needed. So let's get right to it and we'll get this installed. So on these Capini screens, they do do a slightly different method of, they have a very tight fit around a headlight rim with this rubber ring, unlike any of the other windshields. So you get a little, you kind of break that air gap. It's kind of just gives you a different type of windshield setup versus uh, what most other windshields, whether it's a, the factory original or the Faco. And we'll start by opening the hardware pack. You want to locate these two rods. They're identical for the left and the right side. A lot of times I'll take this all apart and make sure everything's all freed up. Uh, this also unthreads. So there's uh, this little cone the piece that splits, a spacer, and then the threaded section that expands this, uh, pretty much pulls this cone into this expansion plug right here. So just carefully set that right in there. You need your 17 millimeter wrench. Push it all the way in. Just start tightening it by hand at first. And even by hand, it kind of will just stay in place. This one's not going to stay in place, so I'll get the 17 millimeter wrench. Careful they don't fall onto the scooter. And I want them a little loose where I can move them around, get them in the position I want. Okay, so go ahead and locate the rubber grommets. There's kind of a cup on one side and the other side's flat. So the more flexible cup goes in from the back side of the windshield, push it right through these holes. Do it on all four spots. So I'm just using my fingers to kind of push it through. And you can see on both sides, they are all installed correctly. So next, go ahead and locate these kind of cone-shaped plastic spacer things. Push them into place. You can put the screws through if you want. It just makes it easier to set them all up here. Go ahead and locate the four plastic pieces. Uh, on the back side is going to be this hex-shaped 
pole and then on the front side it's going to be a round hole and you can see they got a little fin on them so go ahead and have the fin facing towards the outside and the hex hole towards the back of the scooter and they're pretty much all identical and there we go so at this point get your windshield have one of the screws already through and then have another screw ready to go and I'll push that through and do the same on another one Go ahead and locate one of the hex nuts with a Phillips screwdriver here. And you can push the nut right into the back side of that hex recess on the back of this the spacer. Just start to screw just a little bit. And we'll pretty much repeat with all other uh, three positions here. So now that you got all the screws started, kind of want to adjust it to position make it look fairly even. A lot of times I'll look at the top of the goalpost rods to kind of get a symmetrical look. And like I said, this gasket kind of fits and makes contact with the headlight ring. And once you're pleased with the position of it, everything moves still a little bit. So you can kind of, then we'll go ahead and start tightening these screws here. Start with the upper ones. Don't need to go too tight, just where it it grabs, it's not going to go up and down. So they are threaded into these plastic spacers or into the nut that's in the plastic spacer. And I would say that's pretty good. I'm looking down to make sure everything looks kind of symmetrical. Give it a little twist just to make it look perfect. And at this point, go ahead and take your 17 millimeter combination wrench and you can crank down these spacers. And with the Capini windscreens, I find you don't need to get, go too tight with them, but enough to hold them in place. And with any accessory is what I would recommend is ride it for a few hundred miles and then go back there and check all the, the, the torques, you know, make sure nothing's wiggled loose. But there you go, you got that all installed and that's how it's done. So thanks for watching. Just kind of want to cover some of the Capini accessories. We carry Capini, it's an Italian manufacturer, along with Faco and the original Piaggio Vespa spares. And I'd say you get pretty comparable quality for less cost than the original Piaggio. Cool thing about the Capinis, I, they have like a molded plastic versus the Faccos, which are a more simple looking windshield that are usually just curved on one plane. These kind of got more curves to them. So maybe that's the style you're looking for. Um, you can see they kind of recess even where these little grommets go. Different than the Faco, uh, quality wise, pretty similar. Um, functionality is gonna keep the flies out of your teeth, but you know, in a rainstorm, you're probably gonna get wet. So thanks for watching. Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. I'll see you on the next one. Ride safe.